Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some drywall repairs and we're actually looking at a corner repair. So I'm going to show you uh, why the tape may fail in a corner and how we can fix it. So let's get into our demo. Now this is the corner of the drywall and what I've done here is I've already filled in the gap that exists between this edge of the drywall and this wall itself. You can see a corner has developed there because I've packed in the mud. And this should have been done in the first place. You can see the gap there. And if we look all the way down you'll see a wide head gap here. And that's because the drywall never butted up right against the other wall. And what you have to do is use a sheetrock product or a compound that you mix with water so that it really hardens. And all you're doing there is creating the continuation of this edge of the drywall to the wall. And then once it's dry, as it is now, we're ready to tape it. So what I've done is I've given it a quick scuff off with a knife to knock down all the hard edges if you will and basically now we have a corner except for the couple of spots here where there's still a crack but we'll fill that in with mud I'll show you how we do that and then we'll put our tape in again and this time it should hold so we'll get into the demonstration now can't get the whole wall in, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to show you how we mud up and get ready for tape. Basically, this is just a tape coat. So we're going to take our two and a half inch, three inch knife, and we're just using a pre-mixed compound, and we're just going to lay down a skin. And lay down about sixteenth of an inch of compound, maybe not even that, but just going to lay down a coat about the width of the knife. Do the same on the other side. perfectly smooth or not. Work our way down the wall. And if I'm out of your camera view I apologize but I'm um, just basically doing the same thing as I did up top. From all the way down and where that crack was I'm going to lay a little bit more in there. A little dry underneath. So we just quickly get that to the wall and right into the corner. The paper tape is the way to go and so we're going to get into that now. Before we go much further I just wanted to show you the tape here and it's just uh, paper tape. We don't like to use the fiber tape because it's really just a band-aid. It doesn't have the strength of the paper tape and it can actually cause us problems if we try to do, especially if we try to do a full drywall job with the fiber tape we run into issues as such as cracks and separations in the wall between the sheets so we want to use the paper tape where we can so what you find is there's a, a, a crease in the paper so we want to fold our paper along that crease we've already measured out roughly where the for the length of tape now some people like to wet this, and, but I don't because I find that if I wet it and then we start to use the tools on it, it can break it up. So we get a nice fairly thick coat on the wall as we've already done. And then we're going to push this into the surface of that mud and then we're going to apply another coat on top to seal the edge to create our new inside corner. 
So I'll demonstrate that now. We just put our tape, it's not a perfectly cut edge, but we put it on and we press this into the mud and we press that corner right into the new corner that we were trying to establish. And we just work our way all the way down doing that. Making sure that crease is right into the corner. And we press our other, the rest of the tape into the mud. And again, it may not be completely perfect, but as long as it's generally there, and we've got about the same distance at the bottom as we do at the top, about an eighth of an inch. And we take our rod and our knife again. And just do exactly the same. But press right down into that paper this time. And we'll take off the excess on this outside edge. We go right down, about halfway down. Or as far as we can, we want to continue the motion. Then we do our bottom half. So now we'll take a look at what the corner looks like now with the tape coat on it. And you'll see that that new corner has been established. There's no gaps anymore because the tape has been applied. And we see that the edges of the tape have been buried in the mud. Come in a bit closer. And then we'll let that dry. And we'll come back and it'll be ready for its second coat. I hope you enjoyed that quick demonstration on how to apply tape into an inside corner of a wall. And this is basically just the tape coat. So if you have any questions, if you have any ideas for a demonstration, if anything you want to see demonstrated, just drop a line on my channel and I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you can like the videos and by all means subscribe. Until next time, it's been Craig from Muskoka Painter.